Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the simplest way to migrate from your Founders Edition Passport over to your new Batch 2 device. The way we're going to do that is with the encrypted backup file. So let's get started. So on our Founders Edition Passport, I'm going to head down to Settings, I'm going to choose Backup, and then I'm going to create a backup. I'm going to pop the SD card into the device with the gold pins facing towards me and then I'm going to choose create backup Passport then says Passport is about to create your first encrypted micro SD backup the next screen will show you the password that is required to access the backup now you'll only see the screen if this is the first encrypted backup that you've made if you already have an existing one then of course you won't see the screen and there we have our backup password so I'm just going to quickly note that down now. And it's absolutely crucial that you keep these six words safe and secure. Anybody with access to the micro SD card containing your encrypted backup and these words will be able to access any Bitcoin within your wallet. So it's essential that you keep them safe and secure. So once I've noted those down, I'm going to hit next. And Passport's going to ask me to verify them. And there we go, as you can see on screen, the micro SD card backup has been created and we can see the file name there as well. I'm going to press continue and Passport's asking if we'd like to make any additional ones. For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to make the one and so I'm going to select no. Alternatively, if you've already created a backup and you just want to double check the password used to decrypt that, you can choose the view password option and Passport will display the six words. So just as a reminder, this encrypted backup contains, of course, your seed words, but it also contains the wallet metadata. So things like if you have added multiple accounts to Passport or any multi-sig configurations, all of those will also be contained within this encrypted backup, which is why it's the best way to transfer from one Passport to another. So that's it. We're done with our Founders Edition Passport now. So I'm just going to take that away, take the SD card out, and power it down. I'm going to pop the SD card into our new device and then I'm going to power it on. I'm going to enter my pin. If you're at the setup stage, of course, you will not have a pin set up. And we do have a full guided setup tour on our documentation website showing you how you can get started with Passport. So as you can see here, I'm at the seed creation screen. Now, there's two ways that you can get to this. The first one is, of course, through the initial setup process. And as I just said, we have a full documented video guide on that. Or you, if you've just had a play around with Passport and loaded Passport with a dummy seed, then you can just go to the settings menu and erase that so that you can follow this restore process using the encrypted backup. So Passport's asking us if we'd like to create a new seed or restore a seed, or in this case, we're going to restore a backup. As you can see, this SD card does have multiple backups, but the one that we uh, chose was this one here, number three. Then Passport's gonna ask if we want to recover using a backup code, which is 20 digits. Now this is the new format that has only just been recently introduced, but as we've just demonstrated, the backup that we have just created was protected by six words. So I'm gonna choose that option now. Passport's now asking us to enter those six words. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. And that's it. Our passport 
has now been restored. And as you can see, we immediately have multiple accounts on our passport, as was the case with our previous device. Those have all been transported across. And we should also have our multi-sig configuration saved as well. There we go. There's our 2 of 2 multi-sig that was in our previous device. And that's it. Your Passport Batch 2 device is now fully set up as it was with the previous device and there is no need to repair with any software wallet that you used your previous Passport with. Uh, the new device will just pick up where the old one left off unless of course you do choose to use a new software wallet with your new device.